Hello guys, this is actually how you play chess. So, this is how you actually play, I'm not joking. This is how you play. So, unfortunately, the f so let's move these away um, quickly. We're going to talk about them later. So, the first, so, the first thing, okay. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the is the palm. Is a palm. You guys probably know it's a palm, right? Almost everyone knows it's a palm. These tiny stuff. There's a row of them here. So there's a row. Put them all the way here. There's many palms. And they all go from here to there. So let's say so let me put the palm spot so you guys don't get confused. Wait, I, I'm gonna skip this. Three, two, one. I put the palms, guys. Now, that's this is the, what palms could do. They could go once forward or twice forward. They cannot go crooked. So, let's say a uh, enemy is forward of a palm. Put the enemy there. You cannot get the enemy by going forward. But if the enemy is here, there, the palm could go corner to get the enemy. That's the only way a palm could capture an enemy. So we went over the palms, right? Next, we're gonna go with the um the another simple one. The okay, here's another thing with the palms. You cannot jump over pieces. That's another thing. And you can only go diagonal with if you were gonna capture an enemy. Sorry for a distraction. Um is the rook. These guys cannot jump over stuff too. So, these guys, unfortunately, the rooks can go forward and um, this way, right or left. But actually, they don't move once or twice. They can move how many they want. Three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. And the rooks go right here. In that corner. I know it might be hard to see. So the rooks go. The rook goes. Where's that rook? Rookity rook. There it is. The rooks go in this corner. And the other rook goes in the other corner. So we learned rooks. Do the other thing. If there's an enemy right here. And, oh, yeah, the rook could get it. But how about your teammate is forward? Too bad, you can't capture the enemy. Next. Next, we're going to say the knight. These guys go, they're not that strong, but they go in an L shape. Let's say this. These guys go in an L shape. Let's say like this. Um, he's here. That's an L. This is an L. This is an L. L's like L's. If you you cannot do this. Those are too tiny. So, but remember, the enemy needs to be in that square to capture it. Like, let's say you're doing an L. Oh, you could capture it. But how about if it's here? Well, that's not the L shape, so you can't capture it. Too bad. So you can't even use this guy. But here's another thing. Instead of with the knight, you could just do this. And then, if if he doesn't do anything with this guy, you can just capture him by like that. Next piece. Also, I we're gonna I'm gonna 
the knights. They're called knights, not horse. The knights. You could call it horse if you want to. The knights, they um go in these positions. Next is the bishop. These guys go in a corner. But oh, another thing. Knights could jump over teammates. So if a teammate's in front, no wonder. Just jump over it. And next is the bishop. These guys, these guys can't jump over. The only thing that could jump over is the knight. So I don't need to, they can't jump over anyway. I don't need to use jump anymore. So these guys go in a corner pattern. Corner pattern. Let's say you could go any. You don't need to go two, three, four. Enemy here. Go in a corner pattern. And these guys go in this direction. The first one goes there, and the second one goes here. That's how you put them. These guys. This guy over here. Yeah. Chess. Okay. Next, and the final two we're going to learn pieces is the queen and the king. This is the queen, and this is the king. The queen is placed right in the, in left, and king is in right. Look, the queen is so powerful. The queen cannot. I already told you. So the queen, they cannot jump over. The queen. Could go any pattern they want. It's actually the rook and bush up together. Any pattern. Any time. But the king is not that powerful. The king, if it's here, well, it could go anywhere but only one step. That's the only thing about the king and queen. But here's the thing about the king. If your king loses... You lose. So try to protect your king at every single time. So we went over the pieces and what they could do, right? How about to be successful? Remember, the king, try to keep him away from these middle four squares. Because if the queen is in the middle, king is in the middle, that's a big, humongous danger for the king usually. So unfortunately... Try to keep them away from the middle. So, and actually, the king must be totally secured. And here's the other thing. Okay, so, and, you just think, um, successful players put their queen in these corners. In these types of corners. And the king, they just keep it. And just totally secured. When they're close to move, this is what you could do. You can move this king up here. If it's here, you move it up here. And the rook is there, right? So this is what you could do. Just imagine the black is in their team. You could you could move the king here and jump that rook over the king. That's what you could do. You could do that. Next, we're going to talk about is the setup. So, unfortunately, you want to be a smart player, don't you? Because usually people trap you. Let's say like this. The king, look, the black team, king right here. Oh, man, black is hard to see. This is the king, right? And, boom, man, the king could get someone. But, excuse me, there's a rook right there. So, if the king, so play smart right now. If you get this guy, the rook could just, oof, black wins the game and you lose. So, try to keep away from that. Well, 
Did you know how to play chess? Is it fun? Well, see ya.